collected by Officer Orozco's family attended the funeral at St. John's Church. Most watched the service at the CenturyLink Center. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink is live with how hundreds of fellow officers paid their respects. Emily. Well, Craig, officers tell me it doesn't matter where you're from. If, in, if you're in the force, then you're considered family. That's why thousands of officers came from across the country to say goodbye to Officer Carrie Orozco. Hundreds of law enforcement officials came to say goodbye to Officer Carrie Orozco. It's a terrible tragedy all the way around. Um, all of us are heartbroken over this. Sergeant Ron Cush of Crete, Nebraska says in both life and in death, officers must always stand by each other. We have nobody but ourselves to support us. Um, whenever you call the police, the police come. When the police call, all we have is each other to come. Officers say no matter the jurisdiction, everyone is considered family. They say it's a brotherhood, but for us, it's also it's the sisterhood. Officer Michelle Skaggs says she felt compelled to travel from Maryland Heights, Missouri, just outside of Ferguson for the funeral. We are sisters inside and outside of our department. Officer Skaggs and two of her fellow female officers got the OK from their chief to make the trip to Omaha. After policing during the Ferguson riots and now watching a fellow woman officer be laid to rest, the women say police need each other now more than ever. It's been a rough year for law enforcement in general. You know, we're from St. Louis and Ferguson's close to us, so it's just been rough all around and this just kind of hit pretty hard for everyone. The women say they will make sure baby Olivia knows how special her mother was. Her mother paid the ultimate sacrifice, but you know, we would all do it anytime we need to. Century Lake officials tell me they believe more than 3,000 people came to watch the funeral today. Reporting live outside the Century Link Center, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.